In this video, I will show you how to fix NVIDIA control panel display settings missing or not showing on your laptop or PC. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are encountering issues with the NVIDIA display settings missing or not showing up in the NVIDIA control panel, there's a few steps you can go through to resolve this problem. Now the first thing you're gonna to want to check is to make sure that your NVIDIA drivers are up to date. So what you want to do is go to the NVIDIA driver download page, enter your graphics card details and download the latest drivers. Once that's done, install the drivers and make sure to restart your computer. So if that didn't work for you, what you can try is restarting NVIDIA services. So to do this, you want to hold down the Windows key and press R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Into the box, you want to type services.msc and press enter. Now in the services window, what you want to do is locate the NVIDIA display container LS, NVIDIA local system container and other NVIDIA services. What you need to do is actually right click onto each NVIDIA service and select restart. What you can also try is reinstalling the NVIDIA control panel. To do this, press the Windows key and I to open up your settings. Then you want to go to apps and then apps and features, find the NVIDIA control panel, click onto it and select uninstall. After uninstalling, just go ahead and download the NVIDIA control panel from the Microsoft store or reinstall it using the NVIDIA driver installer. What you can also try is manually opening the NVIDIA control panel. So to do this, you want to hold down the Windows key and press S to open the search bar. What you now need to do is type NVIDIA control panel and press enter. If the NVIDIA control panel opens, you can go ahead and try changing the settings from there. Now you also want to check your display connection. So you want to ensure your display is connected to the NVIDIA GPU, not the integrated GPU or the motherboard for your PC or laptop. So make sure to check the physical connection of the monitor to the GPU. After checking this, what you can also try is re-enabling the graphics card. To do this, hold down the Windows key and X and then select Device Manager. What you need to do is look for Display Adapters and click the small arrow next to Display Adapters to bring up some more options. Now you should see your NVIDIA GPU. What you want to do is right click onto the NVIDIA GPU and select Disable Device and then Enable Device. If that didn't work, what you can do is modify the NVIDIA control panel settings using your system registry. To do this, hold down the Windows key and press R and then type reg edit and then press enter. What you need to do is navigate to the address on screen, which is hkey local machine forward slash software forward slash NVIDIA corporation forward slash global forward slash MV tweak. In here, you want to look for this file here, which is MVCPL desktop context and make sure to set its value to one. If it doesn't exist, just go ahead, right click and create a new D word value with that name and set the value to one. Now you also want to check for conflicting software. So some software might conflict with the NVIDIA control panel. So make sure to check and temporarily disable or uninstall any screen recording, overclocking or monitoring software as this can conflict with the NVIDIA control panel and cause it to not work properly. The final fix is to make sure your Windows is up to date. So to do this, you want to go to settings, then update and security, and then Windows update and check for any available updates. Now by following these steps, you should now be able to resolve the issue of missing or not showing NVIDIA display settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Ensuring that your drivers are up to date, restarting NVIDIA services, and also checking the display connection are key steps. Of course, if the problem does persist after trying these steps, consider modifying the registry settings or alternatively seeking assistance from NVIDIA support. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.